In this lesson, we'll first define reciprocal trigonometric ratios and drive trigonometric ratios in terms of basic trig ratios so that when reciprocal and derived trig ratios appear in questions, we can replace them with their equivalent basic trigonometric ratios. Let us consider a triangle A, B and C. Angle at C is 90 degree, so the side opposite to vertex C is hypotenuse. Let us call this hypotenuse and side opposite to angle B is labeled as B and will be called opposite. And side opposite to vertex A will be denoted by small letter A and is called adjacent. This is adjacent and AC is B and AB is equal to C. Now from this right angle triangle, if we define for this angle theta at vertex B, sine theta, sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse is equal to opposite over hypotenuse which is sine theta equal to b over c b over c and cos theta cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent over hypotenuse because cos is a ratio between adjacent and hypotenuse while sine is a ratio between opposite and hypotenuse therefore cos theta is equal to a over c both sine theta and cos theta are called basic trigonometric ratios tan theta at the same time is a basic but it is a derived trigonometric ratio as well so we will define reciprocal ratio for sine if sine theta is equal to if if sine theta is equal to b over c then its reciprocal which is called cosecant theta that is equal to c over b it's just simply the reciprocal of sine theta so in that case it could be written as 1 over b over c and if you write 1 over instead of b over c we can write it sine theta so whenever in questions cosecant theta appears cosecant theta whenever cosecant theta appears in question we can replace it with equivalent basic trigonometric ratio 1 over sine theta similarly tan theta and let's do cos theta first so cos theta is equal to a over c and the reciprocal ratio for cos is secant theta secant theta which is simply reciprocal of cos and this would be equal to c over a and if we want to write it as 1 over a over c a over c is again cos theta therefore we can write it 1 over cos theta so this is equal to secant theta secant theta and now let's talk about the tangent theta tan theta is a ratio between opposite and adjacent and here opposite is b and the adjacent is a so this means 
this is equal to b over a and if we divide the numerator and denominator by c then we can divide b divided by c and the denominator a can also be divided with c so b over c is equal to what b over c as we earlier have defined on this triangle this is equal to sine theta and a over c is equal to cos theta therefore tan theta can always be replaced by sin theta over cos theta if we want to replace tan theta in terms of basic trigonometric ratios but for reciprocal of for reciprocal reciprocal of tan theta of tan theta we have cot theta so if tan theta is equal to b over a then its reciprocal is equal to 1 over so tan theta can also be written equal to 1 over a over b so this would be uh, 1 over a over b and a is the adjacent 1 over adjacent over opposite and this is equal to this is definition of cotangent theta so tan theta in terms of reciprocal ratios is equal to cot theta 1 over cot theta or otherwise or cot theta is equal to 1 over tan theta this is what we can define in terms of reciprocal but otherwise tan theta in questions can always be replaced by sin theta over cos theta so whenever you see because cotangent theta is reciprocal of tan theta this means cotangent theta can be replaced with cos theta over sin theta so these are sin theta cos theta are the basic trigonometric ratios tan theta is still the basic trigonometric ratio but it is derived and it can be replaced by its equivalent basic trigonometric ratio sin theta over cos theta so in nutshell and the result is result is that whenever you see cosecant theta cosecant theta replace it by 1 over sin theta and if you see secant theta that should be replaced by 1 over cos theta and tan theta a can be replaced by sin theta over cos theta and cotangent theta can be replaced by cos theta over sin theta these results are very important and will help you a long way to solve and prove trigonometric identities now we want to prove for the given triangle uh, let us prove the identity prove the trigonometric identity trigonometric identity sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 if this is the trigonometric identity that we need to prove let us redraw the same triangle here again if this is a triangle this is if this is a this is b this is c let us take this as side b and this as side a and this as c this is angle at 90 degree 
and this is the angle under consideration then let us call this as theta so by using from triangle from triangle a b c we use pythagoras theorem we use pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem and what we see is hypotenuse hypotenuse square is equal to adjacent square plus opposite square while c is the hypotenuse b is the opposite and a is the adjacent this means that c square would be equal to a square plus b square let us call this as equation 1 if we divide equation 1 divide equation 1 equation 1 by c square if we divide it throughout by c square this side would be c square over c square is equal to a square plus b square over c square which means 1 is equal to a square over c square plus b square over c square up now if you take a look on this triangle from triangle abc abc sine theta is equal to b over c that is the ratio between opposite and hypotenuse and cos theta is equal to a over c so if we substitute these values this means 1 is equal to sine square theta plus cos square theta and this is called fundamental trigonometric identity which is which is known as known as fundamental fundamental trigonometric trigonometric identity and this identity is going to be used frequently whenever sine square theta plus cos square theta appears we will we will always replace it with one but be aware that this angle must be same for the, if this is sine square theta then cos square theta must be must be there so the angle must be same then we can replace sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 and the other result from this we drive is if cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1 this means cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sine square theta so whenever we will need to replace cos square theta by its equivalent in terms of sine we will always use this result so and also also if we needed to replace sine square theta we can replace sine square theta equal to 1 minus cos square theta this is the second result and before I finish this lesson there are there are few things which we need to remember and this will set the foundations for further uh, proofs and further questions in trigonometry that secant theta is equal to 1 over cos theta cosecant theta is equal to 1 over sine theta tan theta is sine theta over cos theta and cot theta is equal to cos theta over sine theta and cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1 
and if and when we need to replace cos square theta we can replace it by it by its equivalent value 1 minus sin square theta and we can always replace sin square theta by its equivalent value which is 1 minus cos square theta.